And Nicodemus asked our Lord, how can a man be born when he's old? He thought he was talking about a, a rebirth. He said, how can a man enter the second time his mother's womb and be born? But Jesus was talking about a new birth. He said, that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. I'm not talking about another fleshly birth. I'm talking about a spiritual birth, he said. And he gave it very, very clear. In verse 14, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Clear, very clear. John 3, 36 divides the whole world into two groups. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. It stays on him and stays on him and stays on him forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. You can't add any works to grace. If I were to give my watch to my son and say, Son, I want you to have this watch. I'm giving you this watch. And then say, now, All I ask you is to cut my grass once a year. It just ceases to be a gift and become a purchase. If as I give you this watch, totally free of charge, except you must come and mow the lawn once every ten years. It just ceases to be a gift and become a purchase. Romans 11, 6, we're going to look at it very clearly, very clearly says it cannot be any combination of grace and works. It must be one or the other. It says if by grace it is no more works, otherwise grace is no more grace. And if by works it is no more grace, otherwise works is no more works. You cannot add any works at all. Here's a situation where it cannot be 999% grace and 1,000% works. The 1,000% destroys the grace altogether. I'm 60 years old, was in July. I had to stand at Heaven's Gate in the next five minutes. You think I'd hold up my good life to Jesus? You can hold my, my works up to Jesus Christ and say, here, I've done this and I've done that and I've done you all let me into heaven. No! If it was like this, it won't be this way. But if they said, why should we let you in? I'd say, in my hand, no price I bring. Simply to the cross. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Yeah. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all yeah. other ground is sinking. Yeah. Yeah. Things that are different are not the same. You say, well, if you'll do this, and you do that, you do the other. No, if you just say, you do one thing, and you'll get saved, other than trust Christ, you've gone too far. Yeah. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, for by grace are you saved through yeah. faith. And that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Galatians 2, 20 says, I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if a righteous had come by law, then Christ be dead in vain. He died for nothing. If you had to work to get saved, someone had to discover or determine how much work you had to do and how long you had to do it and what motive was behind it. No wonder old John Newton, having lived a life that could not merit anything like salvation. When he finally got saved, wrote that song that I wish I had written and all you wish you had written. <laughs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the eye first believed. Salvation by grace and salvation are by works are not the same. Oh, they may be close. The you know, as far as I know, Baptists are the only large group of Christians in America that has in their doctrinal statement the fact that we believe in eternal security. Nobody else has it in there. You know what they miss by not having that? They miss joy, they miss peace, they miss a life of service. How can you bury your loved ones and know they've gone to heaven if you think they've got to get a loss somewhere along the way? I'd say, I hope mother's in heaven. I hope my mother's there. I hope she made it. No, when I buried my mother, I said, goodbye, mother. I'll see you again. 
It wasn't a hope so with me because she had not only life, she had everlasting, eternal life. She couldn't lose it, she tried. Because of based not on what she did for Jesus, but on what Jesus Christ had done for her. She's saved forever.